In today's video, we'll see how to configure Nest thermostats and smoke alarms inside Apple Home using the Hoob software and a Raspberry Pi single board computer. So straight out of the box, none of the Nest devices are supported inside Apple Home, but thankfully with the magic of hoobs, we can get around that, we can add our cameras, add our thermostats, and add our smoke alarms. This video is focused on the thermostats and smoke alarms. If you want to see how to configure your cameras, then check out this video up above. To save you some time, if you have the UK model thermostat E, then that will not work with this configuration, but all other thermostat models work just fine. Big shout out to the Hoobs team for their support in making these videos, for sending me this cool hoodie, this cool t-shirt. You should definitely check out their website if you've got any questions about how Hoobs works or you need to get hold of any Hoobs products. If you're interested in configuring more than just your Nest inside Apple Home, then I have a growing playlist of videos you can check out up here about how to use Hoobs to get the most out of Apple Home. So let's just start with a rundown of what you'll need. You will, of course, need at least one thermostat or smoke alarm or something from Nest that you can configure. You will, of course, need Hoobs, and I'm using Hoobs version 3.1.20, so I recommend at least that version. The easiest way to get hold of Hoobs is to buy a Hoobs in a box, which is a pre-packaged hardware and software solution that you just plug straight into your network and away you go. If you already have a Raspberry Pi you'd like to use, then you can buy a pre-flashed SD card from the Hoobs team that they will support and you can just get going with. If you really want to go the DIY route, then I have a video up here that you can follow along to install Hoobs yourself on your own Raspberry Pi. So let's start by installing the plugin that we'll need. So we're going to come to search here, and we're just going to search for Nest. And the first one you'll see is this Nest plugin, which is Hoob certified, and that's the one you'll want to install. I've already installed it because I've been using it for a while now. So after the plugin is installed, you'll see this configuration screen pop up, and you'll notice that I've blanked out my uh, configuration values because they're sensitive details. Now, the top three values are typically used when you log in with your Nest account, and I say typically because at the moment they don't really work, and then the bottom three values are used when you log in with your Google account. Now, I'm going to show you how to do both approaches and I've put timestamps in the description below so you can jump to the relevant section. Let's start with the Nest approach because it's a little bit funny key because these three values don't actually work right now. And the reason they don't work is because Google has added a capture system to the login and currently the software can't work around that. The Hoops team are aware of this and they are working around it but for now there is a simple workaround. To start with the workaround we need to get hold of our Nest access token so let me show you how to do that. Now to get this is pretty simple, we're going to log into Nest, and I don't have a Nest account of my own like this, so one of the Hoobs team has lent me theirs, obviously I will not be sharing their details. So I'm going to sign in with Nest, type in your email and address and so forth here. Then once you've signed in, just come up to the address bar here, clear everything out after the home.nest.com part and just type in the word session. So once you do that, what will happen is this cool config uh, screen will show up and you want to capture the value of this key here, the access token, and it's everything in between the double quotes. Now, obviously, I'm going to blank this out because this is uh, important information and you're just going to copy that. So once you've got hold of your access token, all that remains is to actually add it to the configuration. And none of the six values here work for this. We have to go into the advanced configuration here in the side menu, scroll all the way down until you find your section that, call, that says platform nest. For me, it's the last section. For you, it might not be the last section. And what we want to do is get rid of anything that might say Google Auth or anything like that, <clears throat> close that one down. And we're just going to put a key in here that says access underscore token, and then a colon and then in double quotes, paste in your access key. That's it, click Save Changes, and you'll now be able to log in using Nest. If you're using a Google account, things are a little bit harder. You need to get hold of these three values, issue token, cookie value, and API key. So let's see how to do that. To get these three values, it is quite fiddly, and do stay with me on this one. We're gonna have to intercept the traffic going to Nest during a login and pull the values out using Chrome. It's quite easy, it's just fiddly, so let's dive in. Come to the Nest homepage, and I've logged out here, and what I want you to do is right-click, click Inspect, and then we're going to go to Network, and we're going to hit Preserve Log here. Now, if your uh, window doesn't show up here, if it shows up on the side like this, then you can pull down these three dots here, click on this icon to bring it to the bottom and you'll find you have a lot more space. So make sure in, making sure that preserve log is clicked, we're going to go into sign in with Google. You need to choose which account it is you want, so I use that one. OK, 
Okay, so now we're signed in, it's just loading in the background, but all the traffic we need is here and we can start to pull apart the different requests. So we're gonna to come to the filter here and the first thing we're gonna type in is iframe RPC. This is gonna bring up one request that's logged here in this table at the bottom. Click on that, go to headers, and then you're gonna copy this entire request URL here. Now this is sensitive information, so you'll be seeing it blanked out on the screen. And when you record this, keep make sure you keep it safe. So I'm gonna copy that, and I'm just gonna paste that somewhere safe for now. So with those values safely stashed away, the first one we got from iframe RPC, we'll go into issue token here. The second one that we got from OAuth2 slash iframe, will go here into cookie value. And the third one we got from the JWT search will go here into API key. And I've just left the few, first few characters of mine showing so you can get a sense for where your values will go. So regardless of which account approach you use, all you need to do now is click save changes. The whole system will reboot and everything will appear from your Nest account inside your Apple Home automatically. There's no need to add any accessories manually inside the Apple Home account. And if I just switch over to my iPhone now, you'll be able to get a sense for that. So here I am in Apple Home on my iPhone and I scroll down and you can see here I've got the thermostat in our little home gym. I've got the thermostat in our upstairs hallway, the one in my office. I've got all these sensors that come with Nest Protect. I've got a bunch of stuff that comes from Nest and you just get everything automatically. There's no need to do any extra configuration inside Apple Home. So there we are. That's everything you need to configure your Nest thermostats and your Nest smoke alarms inside Apple Home using the magic of Hoobs. If you'd like to see more videos about Hoobs, then check out my playlist above. And if anything's missing, then throw a comment down below and I'll see if I can get to it. I hope that you found this video useful. If so, please hit like, please hit subscribe. And don't just hit subscribe, but hit the bell as well so you don't miss out on any future content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.